Well, do you need some fish for your pond? Well, now is the time to stock it up because we've got a fingerling sale to tell you about fish sale. And it's with the Soil and, Allen Soil and Water Conservation District. Today, we've got the district administrator, Casey Heilman, in to tell us all about it. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having me, Holly. I was asking before, you know, we came on the air, like, why do people want to put fish in their pond? And you're like, there's many reasons. So there, let's start, start with that. Yes, most definitely. So over time, you're going to get leaves and sticks and different debris in your pond. And when that breaks down, you're going to get some pond scum, some algae growth. Not necessarily a good looking pond. Plus, it'll start to smell. So fish really help keep that uh, down as well as help aerate your pond. Okay, so are there certain fish that are really good for that or just all the ones that you guys sell work out for the pond? Well, they all work out for the pond. Um, white aimer or more, as people say, uh, that's a good one for helping to keep algae and plant growth down. But you don't want a pond just full of one type of fish. You really want a good biodiversity in there. So okay. you also want some, maybe some bass and some bluegill. The bass will eat the bluegill, bluegill will eat minnows. So you really want a wide variety. The, the more fish, the better, the healthier, the happier your pond will be. Right, yeah. So, you know, we were talking about some people like to swim in their pond, and, and that's fine. You can still have the fish in the pond when you swim, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. definitely. You might, you know, bump into one every now and then. <laughs> we did as kids. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, if you want to continue to refresh the pond, you can probably fish for them and, and do that kind of thing, too. Oh, yeah, right? and and uh, the book we I have that's also for sale with our our. Uh, fingerling fish sale talks about how you really want to put fish into your pond if you're a big fisherman that you enjoy eating okay you know so perch we have perch on the list this year catfish is a big one um, as well as you've got your bluegill and and other fish along those lines. So bass, bass is another one. Oh, yeah, all right. So, okay, so when should we order the fish? And yes, well, the deadline, and it's a hard deadline, is May 6th. Okay. I have to have all those fish orders in by the end of the day. And um, pickup is May 14th at the Allen County Fairgrounds. And I'm sorry, we will not have any extra fish. So it's really important that you order ahead of time. And you can order by going online. Um, you can go to our Facebook site. Uh, I have a link up for there. Our website goes to our PayPal. Uh, and if you'd prefer, you can come into the office. We're open from Monday to Friday, right. 8 to 4.30. And you can pay in person at our office with cash or check. Now, where do you get your fish from so people will realize that it's a, it's a good place, right? Sure, it's Fender's Fish over in Baltic, Ohio. They've okay. been in business since 1956. Wow. It's a family-run business. And Steve Fender is who we work with. And Steve is the person who wrote the book on pond management. That's what I was going to say. So yeah. let's talk more about that book. So he really knows what he's talking about, right? Oh, then I yeah. guess the fish has been in his life. Oh, yeah, he's been born into it. So, right. I mean, this is a great book, especially if you're new to ponds. Maybe you bought a new property and you have a pond and you don't know what you're going to do with it. Or like my husband, he wants to dig a pond, which we're getting in two weeks. So <laughs> all right. we have a copy. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so it does, it's just a, it says a common sense guide. So I, I kind of, that probably signifies exactly what it's all about. Right. right? Lot, I, lots of pictures. If you're like me, you need pictures and you need just simple language. And uh -huh. it, it really breaks it down for you. It's simple to understand. It's, it's a great book. It's, it's helpful. Well, I mean, I think people think, well, I'm just going to dig a pond and, and that's all I need to worry about. But obviously, you know, <laughs> since I never had a pond, there is more to worry about. And oh, the fish yes. is part of the process and, and keeping it all clean. And yeah, things. just like anything else you have in your property, ponds require maintenance. And if you take care of your pond, it'll in take care of you. Right, exactly. <laughs> all right. So again, if you want to order the fish, the hard deadline is May 6th. So get, yes. get started now and think about what you want. Yep. And if you have any questions, you can call my office. It's Ask For Me, Casey. It's 419-222-0. 0846 and I'd be happy to talk to you. All right, very good. All right, get some fish for your ponds, everybody. Thank you very much for coming today. Good Thank to hear you, from Holly. you. Thank you, Holly. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.